Hello everybody and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So I actually figured out what you're supposed to do to get the... I love this music. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you basically what you do is... Uh, okay, why am I going everywhere? Uh, right, so you just click square or X on Xbox or whatever button is on PC. Let's see. Here's our house fanatic robes, or our dark arts robe. Ooh, why do I have glasses on? Here's that uh, owl mask. Here's our dark arts mask. A legendary belt is pretty cool. Dark arts gloves. Headwear. Hi. Hat. And here's our dark arts hat. Hmm. Okay, how do you. Then there's one more. There's like a hood, I think. Remember how you do that one. Ah, uh, hood on. Ah, see, there you go. Dark Arts appearance. Ooh. Very cool. Very scary. <laughs> Gonna reset everything quickly. See, can I just, like, oh, yeah. not make it apparent? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, let's get Let's get back. So in the last video, we went to the restricted section of the library and Sebastian peeves that ghost caught Sebastian and I. And Sebastian took the blame. Like a true champ. Hopefully he's not in a lot of trouble. Since he said, well apparently well the librarian said apparently detentions are not enough. Oh it's nighttime. Well, I, I knew it was nighttime. Yeah. Mm. It's over here. I was in this school. Wait. Oh. Oh boy. You good, kid? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and... Ooh. Well, mine, unfortunately, took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff scheme dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? What? Yes. <laughs> Rumor has it that what? the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. 
I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Cool. Hmm. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. We have to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I wish there was something I could do. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other day. I really have made a mess of things. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Ah. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. You ah. might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. And now oh, I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. This one's closer, so we'll quickly do that. Back to the library. I'm going to have to use Akio to get... Got it. Only four more to go. Akio. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. Hey, get back here. Go. Hmm. Akio. Three. Oh. Two. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. That was the last one. <sighs> Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? 
because it's boring. <laughs> Wait, there's Accio. the other one. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Oh, forgot to get that. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. Wow, you can be a... I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again You can really be a jerk in this soon. game, huh? Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Like, Thank goodness. Oh, don't... maybe give me a reward so I don't tell everyone about your diary. You read one page about how she wanted a meat pie instead of something else, but. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my. <laughs> there, I bet there's like one person who just like. He was like the most evil player of the game. Like, like he just wanted to go for the whole stereotypical, stereotypical dark wizard. Like one first Slytherin. Like nothing wrong with Slytherin, but you know, like, like as I said, stereotypical dark wizard. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Wow. You know, speed run the game until they could get the uh, darks. Dark art stuff. On another adventure, are we? Yep. <laughs> and Ooh, oh yes, we're back outside. I just want my broom so I can fly around everywhere. Ooh. Akio. <laughs> Revelio. Revelio. Find enter to hand her ball of the corridor. See. Hmm. Lumos. Oh, wait a second. Ooh. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Oh yeah, fair amount. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. You know what? Let's this even gray eh. let's get her like house fanatic thing on looks pretty nice That's a, not the beak skull mask though <laughs> Dark arts had dark arts cares in that. Put on or off? Off. Ow! Lumos. The hell? Back the hell off. Ugh. Huh. 
Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Ah, Lumos. Hey, back up. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Oh, oh yeah. Just oh. swimming in the game. Traditional school roads, superb, and then dignified. It's charming, but oh, charming that time. Oh, yeah, it's charming, I guess. But yeah, I like the dignified, you know. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio! Lumos! Yeah, back off. Oh, it's locked. It's good, though. Well, 10. Oh, what's... Ah, okay. A weapon wheel for... Ooh! Oh, and so that's how you can, like, summon things. Oh, fuck, some... Hey. Did you just push one set? Oh yeah, that's a pure bonus, I don't remember. <laughs> Nobody likes it. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you found anything to, uh, prove- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff Scheme Dunking for me. <laughs> the more I hear it, the funnier it gets. It's not even funny. Ugh. Disappointed with myself. What have I become? Jeez, man, how far up was that there? Side quest. Yeah, here it is. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Ooh. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. 
I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Definitely. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. Okay. I have found copies. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Thank you! The Minister of Boot the Minister of Flat. Yeah, ha heck out through. Uh, okay, is this... This is not her room. This is... Oh, this is the charms room. I need to go to Hecate's room because that's where they have um, the uh, rhino skeleton. Not actually, no, that's the whale skeleton. But like, there's near there where they have the rhino skeleton. Here it is. That was wrong. Ah. A rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Fountain. I'd better keep an eye on. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Jadalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Who? What? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Jadalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. No. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. Yeah, we'll do that after. First, we're gonna do this one open a cabinet I'd love to know what you find if anything Revelio I need to find that painting what are you up to now uh. Sarah will going up I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. No, it has to be through here. Like, yeah, from. Um. 
Revelio. Oh, he's worse. The stairwell looks promising. I tried to said if I didn't get it sorted, I'd be the one getting back. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Incendio! Oh, nice Accio! Ah, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Incendio! I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Hmm. Sometimes you can find some quite interesting things. Could you remind me how the Dedalian oh. keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Mm -hmm. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, I know, man. Jeez, okay. <laughs> I really want my broom so I can finish that side quest. I feel like I don't need the broom though, cause since I got wait, it, it says like the requirements for Quite level three, right? Okay, but it doesn't say that for like these side quests, so Revelio. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Imagine. Wonder if a quick rummage round yeah. Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Wow, this kid's a explorer. Imagine if he said, like, now give me your immediately he told me to say, like, now give me your money. Uh, well, give. That would have been messed up. Okay. The daily keys. Let's put that hood on. Right, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> oh peeves. It's funny. But creepy. Kind of annoying. I mean, I feel like if he, like he's kind of funny character, like in the game. But if you were to ask him, you'd probably hate him with a burning passion. <laughs> As a daily key, I wonder where it might lead me. Revelio, where'd it go? Nice to see you, my young friend. Ah, here. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Slap? Ooh, what? 
<laughs> you just like slap it, just beat it. Oh, wait a second. Ah. I just grab it when I slap it. Got it. Okay. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. Hmm. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. First, we must pet the kitty cat. Okay, mission complete. Now, on to the chest. The graphics are very nice. A bit, they could do a bit of work for like the face, like during the actual cutscenes, the animations are perfect. But when it's just like chatting, like, like you know, how, like it's like it shows one character talking, and it cuts back to our character and their character, right? Like, not like a full-on cutscene. When it does that, it just needs a bit more work with the facial animations, stuff. But otherwise, it's quite good. Eyes on me, musicians. What? What? How? Oh, what? Oh, ah. oh. what? Whoa, that was cool. Wow. Oh, that scared me because I did not expect that. Revelio. This must be my house. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh. Quite a few by the look of it. Hmm. 16. All right then, well that's something to do. Back to the main thing. <laughs> it's 
this I don't just fast travel since we've been exploring a lot. Oh, okay. When I tap the touchpad, it zooms around a lot. Lumos. Revelio. Ah, down here. Lumos. Need to get down there. Handy resource indeed, your field. Revelio. Ah, shoot, no. Lumos. Damn it. That's over there. Okay. And I'll do it again. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Levioso! <laughs> That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh... Oh dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. 
My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Level 10! Let's see. Challenges. Quest. Ooh. Legendary Cape. Alright. Regalia hat. Ooh. Now, what do we do? I still get more to do. Additional content. Hmm. See. But. Oh, there you go. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Hmm. All right, then. It's time to prove your dueling metal Ooh. and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Crossed Ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive Ugh. spell. Please complete the assignments <laughs> I have given you, and then proceed to see me wow. in my classroom. Whoa. Got stuff to do. Alright, everyone, if you enjoyed, leave a like. And Ooh, explain arms. Nice. Okay, so if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time. We'll do some of this stuff in the next one. Well, good morning, day, afternoon, evening, or good night. Bye bye, everyone.